Ja, men skal vi skal vi bare begynne å snakke litt på engelsk? Ja, det kan du bare snakke fra egentlig fra nå av, kan dere bare snakke på engelsk? I am a boy. Ja. I'm a boy. <laughs> Hello there, Didrik, aka Mr. Mail, Adamok Equipment. I'm standing here with the 2019 Drummer XL, which we had on pre-orders this previous fall. Uh, it will look uh, exactly the same as the regular Drummer for 2019. Uh, so we're gonna have a tutorial now where I show you the features and how to get the most out of your product. Uh, you have these compression straps here, so to get uh, the hammock out, you need to loosen these. And then just simply loop the strap around the tree. I like to start off high because then I have more uh, flexibility when I'm just when I'm adjusting the hammock later on. So to attach it, you have this loop on one end, and you just simply pull the buckle and the excess strap through the loop. Okay, so when that's done, you can pick up the hammock. You have uh, the hammock logo here, and that's supposed to face upwards through the buckle. You can also see it on the strap here. See this ridge line here, when it's tight like this, that's pretty good because then it means that the hang angle on the tree straps is quite optimal to have a good hang. The next step is to get the pad inside the hammock. On, one, uh, on the head end of the hammock you have the valve and on the hammock itself you also have a small space for the valve here. On both the foot end, which is by the zipper here, and the head end, you have these small stick pockets. So what we have to do now is that we have to go look for a couple of suitable sticks. So now we're gonna show you two two ways of entering the hammock. The first one is actually easier for taller people because they have longer legs usually. Put the hammock between your legs like this and then you pull it through as far as you can. And then you see the panels here on the middle. You can hold on to these. And try to lean back holding in these. And try to put your weight Kind of in the middle or a little bit, uh, maybe in the middle, but sometimes you have to put actually the weight a little bit behind these gray stash pockets here. You can stop filming now. <laughs> so one of the issues that uh, some of the customers of us are having is that they're sliding towards the foot end of the hammock. So the trick is to actually trust the hammock and put yourself far enough behind so that you get a flat, flat lay. Okay, so now we're going to show you the second uh, way to get into the hammock. And this is actually my favorite way of getting in. You fold the hammock into the middle like that. I use one leg to keep the fold. I grab hold of the ridge line like that. And this is very strong, so you can use this to keep the balance. And then I just put myself sideways into the sweet spot, let go of the ground, and then I release the fold. And I'm inside. So now that we're inside, uh, we can go and grab the stick from before that we already put in here. And to get this one in, you just pull, start pulling the foot end up like this and over.
and then just slowly put it down like this. Now I'm gonna show you how to operate the chair mode. So what I like to do to start off by doing in chair mode is that I like to start off with the foot straps. So what you need to do is that you kind of need to take your weight off a little bit of the foot end. And it can also be good, I can show you on this side. It can also be good to kind of help with this hand here while you're pulling. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to operate the bug nut. So what you do is you open this uh, pocket here and you pull out the bug nut. And then you locate the beginning of the zipper. What you do is attach it to the side like that. So what do you do when uh, you want to sit upright and uh, you have the bug net on? So what we made for that is this draw cord that's located in the head end. And you can use this to go over the ridge line to keep the bug net away. And then there is a small plastic buckle that goes into a small loop on this foot end. You can start by tightening the draw cord up here. And as you can see, you don't have the problem with the bug nuts getting in your face once you have it in chair mode. Make sure that you remove it completely before you do anything else in the hammock because the bug nuts are not uh, very strong. So if you sit on it or you accidentally fall on the bug nut, it will tear. If you're a tidy person, you can neatly fold it, but I'm just gonna curl it up into a ball and then put it back into the bug nut pocket here. And then close the button like that. Okay, so now we're gonna take down the hammock. We had a good night's sleep or we had a nice lunch break. So what you do is you remove it, the side that's not attached to the stuff sack. You let the tree strap just hang on the tree for now. So now you have the tree strap holding the stuff sack, which I like to do because it's pretty neat. And then it's super important that you start with the opposite side. The stuff sack should be attached to the starboard side. That means that you should start by stuffing the port side into the stuff sack first. So what you do is you take hold of this. Take off the last strap like that. Now we have stuffed the handlock, but now we need to take down the tree straps. So what I like to do to kind of keep things in order is that you roll up these and they can just sit on the inside of the stuff sack. That finishes up our vlog for today. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have anything that you would like to see us do, uh, please comment in the commentary field and we'll see if we can do something about it in the next episode. Catch you in the next. Whee <laughs>